Hey folks, it's uh, straight up dressed like a bum, looking like a bum, Mr. Mac here. Uh, it's uh, kind of late where I am, uh, which is 20 minutes from you guys, but it's, you know, 9 p.m. and that's my bedtime because I'm an old man. You'd think that my sleep schedule would have gone out the window, but not really. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been keeping myself to some kind of regimen here and... Um, I don't know if I'd recommend, <laughs> but, uh, so you're here, of course, to watch this video, so, or, and, uh, get to the assignments, let's, let's do it, all right, here we go, do, so, what we're gonna be doing to, uh, this week here, uh, today, uh, so, we're talking about World War One, right, and normally, under normal circumstances, well, okay, I don't even know, how, if this was any other crisis, I probably wouldn't, uh, you know, I'd still just spend this week talking just about World War One in general. But uh, I, I feel like considering that we are going, undergoing our own pandemic, I think that the best thing to do right now is to take a look at the last massively deadly pandemic that we went through in 1918, right after the end of World War One. So uh, I, I briefly touched on it in my lecture video. I didn't do it too much, and that's mainly because I want you guys to find your own materials on it and look for your own primary sources, okay? So, here's an assignment that uh, Mr. Marcy actually developed for American, uh, but I did some minor, very minor changes uh, to make it fit for global, right? Uh, there wasn't really too much here. So, what you are going to be doing right of course talking about primary sources are important and a lot of those are journals or diaries so a lot of people started writing about their experience with the spanish flu so what you're going to be doing is you are going to read a journal of a world war one soldier who describes what the you know spanish flu pandemic was like through his eyes and through the eyes of a soldier in particular okay so you're still getting that <laughs> a little touch of world war one in there and you are going to, uh, so it's not, it's not the full diary. Don't, don't worry. It's just an excerpt. So it won't be, it won't be, you know, super in depth. It's not like hours and hours of reading, but it is something that's very important for you to read. Then you're going to watch a quick video, right? That will help digest, help you digest the Spanish flu. And then you are going to finally do some research of your own to delve deeper into the Spanish flu to see, you know, what you can find, right? And then you're going to do a quick graphic organizer to compare and contrast the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic with the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So this is clearly a, a bit more than what I normally ask for these primary sources. I'll compensate a little bit by making the next assignment a little bit shorter than it, it usually is, seeing that this one's a little bit longer. But, uh, I mean, there's not really due dates, so... I mean, you have all the time in the world to do this. It really should not take more than 20, 30 minutes anyways, which is exactly the peak time that we want to be hitting. So that is what you are going to be doing this week. Uh, otherwise, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me or Mr. Marcy during our office hours, 10 a.m. to 1. And also stay on the lookout for a post about next Friday, I should be doing that uh, either tomorrow or the next day. So keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, that's all I got. So I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.